In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to create sliders in your assignments and lessons. So what are sliders in the first place? Well, sliders give students an overview of a lesson or assignment that you've created. You can include images in your sliders and create as many slides as you like. For instance, in assignment one, there are three sliders with three pictures. These particular sliders don't have any text in them, however, I will show you how you can add text to them in just a little bit. How do you create a slider? You can create a new assignment, or in my case, I'm going to open up an existing assignment and add a slider to it. But before I do that, I'm going to add a few more containers to the assignment, and I'll explain why I do that in just a little while. So let's go ahead and add a SCORM lesson. So now you'll see that I have a SCORM object here. Next, I'm going to add a photo file. And then I will also include an image container. So you can see that we now have some additional containers in this assignment. Now, let's go ahead and add a slider. To add a slider, I'll click the little white square icon located above the camera icon. If you already have a slider that you want to include, you can pick it from here. You can also decide what type of slider you want. There are two options, type 1 and type 2. So the type 2 shows the number of slides, and type 1 does not display the number of slides, however, in the same case, you are still able to navigate the slides by clicking the arrow buttons. Notice the option to upload images to the sliders. If I wanted to choose a different image for the slider, I could upload an image directly from here. Next, I'm going to link some page items to some of the sliders. Now, this is where we tie back to what I was doing earlier, which was creating additional containers in this assignment. If you remember, I had uploaded a SCORM file and image containers. What I can do now by linking the page items is that I can choose which of those containers I want displayed with the slider pages. For the first slide, I will include the SCORM container. And for the second page, I will include the image container. The third slider, I will include some of the other additional containers. I'm also going to include some text in the sliders. So again, viewing all of the content that I have in the assignment, I can see everything. So let's go ahead and see what the assignment looks from the viewer's perspective. As you can see, each page has different objects, page links, or containers linked to each slider. Next, let's take a look at where you can organize and edit your sliders. Navigate to the sliders page that's located on the left of your screen. Here you can see the list of sliders in this particular course. So again, in the case of creating and editing sliders in the actual lessons, you can also edit, copy, and delete sliders here. You can edit the name, content, and choose however many sliders you want and the content that you want within the sliders. You can also create new sliders in this page and you're given the option similarly with what you can do within the assignment lessons uh, with two different layouts for sliders and again you can add titles, photos, and as many slides as you like. So I hope this tutorial has helped you with any questions you may have had regarding sliders and thank you for watching.